It was the night before Sanguinala, and all across the land, little boys and girls in the Imperium were preparing to receive their presents from Father Commander Dante and his golden sled of magic awesomeness. At this time of the year, you humans band together to celebrate what is the true meaning of Sanguinala, which is forgetting our differences and purging the alien scum. This is the true story of Sanguinala. Welcome to the story of Sanguinela and welcome to Hellstorm Wargaming. Today we are playing a very, very special mission. We have two Warhound Titans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, very angry ones. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of a Christmas special. We've got a, um, a little special mission to celebrate Sanguinela and uh, this holiday season. You're right, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> so, a puppy. <laughs> I'm a bit gutted that I don't have a puppy right now. <laughs> Um, today we're going to play a mission. We have a Grombrindle um, as san representing the um, the token of Sanguinela, and we're going to be delivering him presents. Um, we got four armies. We're basically going to have um, well, there's two warlords in for each army because there's two v two. Um, there's going to be an extra way you can score. You can score a warlord, get kill twice. You can get first strike twice by killing one unit from each army. Um, Line break is the same, Just but then doubling up on everything, really, aren't we? Basically, yeah. But every unit has a present, and if they control Grombrindal at the end of the turn, every unit within three inches can drop off a present, and each one only score a point. So very, we walk towards your deployment zone as well, don't we? It does, yeah. So if yeah. you if if so one, can move. if one side has more presents than the other side, then I'll start walking towards, and then and vice versa. But we'll but we'll go through that in a minute. But let's have a look at the armies. It's two thousand five hundred points, twelve fifty each. Let's have a look at that now. Oh, Merry Christmas as well. <laughs> Merry Sanguinela. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just made a noise because I wasn't sure what we were doing. There is no day. So, guys, here we have 2,500 points of Imperium, uh, Dark Angels and Blood Ravens. Yeah. Elliot, would you like to tell us about your Dark Angels? Yes, yeah, so we've got a battalion. It gives mm -hmm. me plus three command points, meaning I've got six altogether. So, my HQs, I've got my interrogated chaplain. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be my warlord, so he's taking my relic and my warlord trait. Mm -hmm. So for the relic, I've got Fos Miter. Which is the uh, two damage uh, storm ball. Yeah, and it's got minus one to his AP as well. Which is very nice. And he's also got the warlord trait master of maneuver. Okay. Which lets units within six inches reroll their advance and charge. Very cheeky, especially yeah. if you're going down with the Terminators. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, he's got a lieutenant with him mm -hmm. to do his paperwork. Yeah. Not into paperwork. And That's probably why he's wearing a dress. Probably. <laughs> And then for my troop choices, I've got two 10-man tactical squads. Mm -hmm. The first mm -hmm. one's got a um, it's a plasma pistol on the sergeant. He's got a chainsaw, yeah. uh, a plasma gun, and a las cannon. And a las cannon, yeah. And then the other squad has again got a plasma pistol, but he's got a power sword. Mm -hmm. There's a plasma cannon and a plasma gun in there. All Very the plasma. nice. All the plasma, of course, your dark yeah. angels. And you got some scouts as well. I've got some scouts with sniper rifles and camo cloaks. Very cheeky. Uh, in my fast attack slot, mm -hmm. I've got an assault squad. Yep. I believe there's two plasma pistols in there yep. and a power fist. Yep. The rest of the guys have just got chainsaws, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then I've got my two dreadnoughts. Two so dreadnoughts. One of them's got a uh, dreadnought fist, power fist, and yep. an assault cannon, and the other one's got a missile launcher and a last cannon. Yeah, this has got a heavy flamer as well, this guy, on his, on his fist. Oh. So, last cannon and missile launcher. It's very cool. So, that's 12, just under 1250, is it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, mine, I've got a battalion as well. So another six command points. The way we're going to make it work today is we're basically going to have four separate armies, but two of them aren't going to shoot each other to make warlord traits command points work like that, make it easy. So I've got two HQs. I've got Librarian Sunnis. He's going to be the warlord with armor Indomitus, so he has a two plus save, and um, for one turn I can activate his three plus invulnerable. Um, his um, warlord trait is going to be Storm of Fire, so on a six uh, to wound in the shooting phase, anyone within six inches gets an extra AP on the weapon, which is pretty nice. Um, and his psychic powers is going to be psychic fortress and null zone. Um, the other HQ is a tech marine. If you've been watching Twitch, you might have seen me have just finished this painted, so this is the first time out for him today. And he's got a servo arm and a bolt pistol, so nothing too crazy. Three troops. I've got some. We've got. I've got some sniper scouts as well with camera cloaks. I've got tactical squad. Uh, Sergeant has a combi flamer, and then we've got a melter gun as well. And we've got a, just a normal scout squad with bolt guns and a chain sword. Elites, we've got the Redemptor Dreadnought making a return. He's got the Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon, the Normal Onslaught Gatling Cannon, uh, Icarus Storm Pod, and two Storm Bolters. 
heavy support, we've got um, unit of hell blasters with the rapid fire option, the plasma incinerators. Fire, we've got the Stormhawk, two assault cannons, Laz Talon, and the Sky Hammer missile launchers. And then very cheekily, very cheekily, we've got two Razorbacks now, uh, both with assault cannons, but this one, as you can see, has the Hunter Killer on the side. So that's mine, that's, uh, a, I think it's 1247 or something like that, not quite 1250 altogether, but 2000 points altogether, so let's see what the Xenos Scum have. And here we have the Xenos Scum, we have Harley Quinns and Eldar. What, um, what traits are you using today for the Eldar? Uh, it's probably going to be the Bale Tan, I think. Bale Tan, very tasty. Well, Dan, would you like to go through what you've got first? We've got a battalion. Yeah, we've got a battalion. Um, okay. So we've got my Warlord, which is the Troop Master. Mm -hmm. um, he has got the, the new one out of the chapter of Brood, which is very the, the Laughing God. Okay. Uh, he's in reroll of ones to hit. Nice. Uh, he's on with a Power Sword, even though he's got the Zephyr Blade, which is pretty cool. Does, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a unique different, Power Sword. Different. Okay. Um, and then we've got two uh, Shadow Weavers. Mm -hmm. um, they have the one on the left has um, Twilight Pathways. Yep. And Fog of Dreams. And then okay. the one on the right has Mirror of Mind and Fog of Dreams as well. Okay. For their powers. Yep. And then there was the Weaver the Spunt there. Shuriken Pistols. Yep. And then we've got three troops. Okay. So the one there that has uh, three Harlequin's Kisses mm -hmm. in their dedicated transport with um, Star Weaver. Star Weaver. Star Weaver. Yep. Uh, and then the one there has um, two Embracers okay. in their Star Weaver again. And yep. then the one following there is three Caresses in okay. Star Weaver transport. Yep. So what are the Star Weavers kitted out with? Uh, just double Shuriken Cannon. Just a, and they're all yeah, the same. Just one okay. Standard ones, yeah. Okay, and we've got uh, some, we got some we, bikes. Yeah, we've got some Skyweavers. Now, these have actually, I've paid for the um, AY cannons underneath them, not the okay. cannons as normal. Okay. Just to try them out, because they're different. Interesting. And then we do have a lot of boxes as well. You do have a lot of boxes, <laughs> yeah. And then they've all got um, Zephyr Blades yep. with them. Nice. And, then and they've got that new stratagem as well, haven't they? Um, well, the, the army's got the new stratagem, yeah. The, yeah, um, so if you advance. Prismatic Blur, I think it is. The, yeah, the, the Storm the advanced, Shield advanced. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. They got two elites. Then, yeah, two elites. We've got a um, Death Jester. Yep. And the um, token Solitaire, which is cool. Yep. Very nice. And they're all boxed down the dog with whatever they've got. Okay. Okay. Neil, would you like to go through yours? Yep. So I'm going to have a single battalion and a auxiliary super heavy detachment. Very nice. So it's two HQs. Mm -hmm. We've got the Avatar of Kane. Yep. Is he a warlord? He's going to be my warlord, and his warlord trait is going to be the Bill Tan warlord trait. So mm -hmm. natural leader. Okay. Which lets uh, he can pick a friendly unit within three inches at the start of the shooting phase, and they can reroll all failed hit in that phase. Nice. Okay. Quiet We've... pupper. <laughs> He agrees. Yeah. We've got a Farseer. Uh, Farseer with a singing spear, mm -hmm. and his psychic powers are going to be Doom, Guide, and Smite. Okay. And we've got three troops. We've got three troops. We've got Some a squad guardians. of 12 Guardians okay. with a Bright Lance. Yep. We've got a squad of 11 Guardians with a Shuriken Cannon. Okay. And we've got a squad of five Rangers. Very nice, very nice. Uh, heavy nice. support. We've got a standard War Walker with two Shuriken Cannons. Yep. And in the Super Heavy Auxiliary, We've got, We've got a Wraith Knight with the Sun Cannon and Scatter Shield. Okay. I know. Has anyone seen one of these before? Th these are new. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's seen these before. Yeah. Ever. Forge World, aren't they? Yeah. Um, they, they might be. They might not even be GW. Might not even GW. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. That's 2,500 points, in case I didn't clarify that before, of um, Eldar. So let's have a look at the battlefield. So guys, this is Sanguinila. He is in the middle of the battlefield. Uh, so this is the battlefield we're using Wait, today. No, Sanguinila's not a person. You need to cut that out. It's like saying, <laughs> this is Christmas. This is, <laughs> this is Mr. Sanguinila. No. Mr. Christmas. You need to give him a name. What's his name? Grombrindal. Grombrindal of Sanguinila. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. So this is him. He's in the middle of the battlefield. So basically, um, each unit is going to have a dice next to it to represent how many uh, presents they have. Um, if they are within three inches, any friendly unit can then drop off a present and he'll start moving towards their deployment zone. We're going to play Dawn of War. Um, if a unit is killed before they drop off the present, they drop the present where they land and a unit can go pick that up and a unit can carry as many presents as it's like. So let's see how it goes. Have we seen, we've seen the armies. Let's, uh, let's see deployment phase.
So guys, this is uh, the end of deployment. Um, obviously, we're playing Dawn of War. You see the Imperium side, we've got a little bit of a, a huddle here. Was everything just smashed together. So we've got the Stormhawk Interceptor on the flank. We've got um, the Blood Raven snipers there. And we've got the Hellblasters there. We've got a tactical squad. Both tactical squads have um, combat squad, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so we've got one there. We've got one there with the plasma cannon. We've got one there with the last cannon. And then one there as well. Uh, in this Razorback, we've got the um, the Librarian and the Scout Squad. In this um, Razorback, we've got the Apothecary and the Tactical Squad. Tech Marine there, two Dreadnoughts, two other Dreadnought, Sniper Scouts. And then you've got three units in reserve. Yes. Got the Chaplain, the Terminators, and the Assault Squad. And it's not a huddle, it's a Christmas party. Of course, my bad. Yeah. My bad, my That's bad. Okay. So guys, do you want to go through your deployment? So do you want to go through this side of your deployment, guys? Yeah, so we've got a War Walker in reserve. Mm -hmm. We've got a unit of Rangers yet to emerge. Okay. Oh, yeah, because that's done just after first turn yeah, roll, isn't it? Yeah. And I think that's, yeah, that's it for reserves. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Death Jester down here. Of course, hiding. Dan can tell you what's there. Yeah, so the one, this one's got the Warlord in, which is the um, Troop Master. Then we've got the Shadows here in that one. Okay. With the two troops and their dedicated transports. Okay. Got some Guardians here. A lot of Guardians with the Bright Lamps in there. Yep. Yeah. Farseer, Solitaire, and the Avatar. Yeah. Oh, that's very well synchronized, guys. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the bikes. Uh, sky, sky Weavers. Yeah. yeah. Wraith Knight. Wraith Knight. And then what's in this one? Uh, that's got a Shadow Seer and the Kissers in their uh, Sky Okay. Weaver. And then uh, the Guardians on the flag. Guardians with the cannon. Okay. So that's the, so that's deployment. As you can see, every every unit the transports look strange, but every unit has a dice. So the transport you've got one for the transport, then one for each unit inside. Yep. These are representing the presence. So every unit gets one, and obviously we have Sanguine Sanguinila there, no. Mister Sanguinila, no. Grand Brindle Sanguinila, <laughs> so in the middle. So basically, if you control the objective, every unit within three inches can give Grand Brindle a present. And then basically whoever you count how many presents he has on each side and he'll move towards the deployment zone of that of the team who's giving him the most presents so for example if me and elliot give him three presents he'll move three inches towards us and then if um if they've given him none and if they we've both given him the same amount he won't move so first turn's gonna be massive because you're gonna have to basically jump on and give him as many presents as possible and let him charge towards towards deployment um, but we'll have to see. We are going to play chapter approved plus one goes first, and uh, Neil and Dan set up first, so they'll get plus one. Also, we are going to be trying out GW's new beta rules, so we are going to be using beta smite. So basically, every time you cast smite, you have to like minus one off your test. So the first time you cast it is five, second time you cast it is six each phase. Um, and also the character targeting rule. So basically, you can't target a character unless it's the closest unit, unless the closest unit is also a character that you can choose. So we'll be trying. Okay guys, that is the end of the Imperium movement phase. Uh, just a quick note, I don't think I mentioned that I think I'm using Salamanders, chapter tactics, um, but also the flyer, because he can't ca capture objects, he's gonna say yeah, he's got a present, but he's never gonna be able to drop it. So he hasn't got one. Um, basically the scouts got out the Razorback and advanced. Um, the Razorbacks just moved and they've moved, just everything just kind of like trundled forwards. The snipers have stayed still and the Hellbusters have moved. Elliot's stuff, 
everything, everyone in the unit but the heavy weapons have kind of just gone a little bit forward, create a bit of screening and stuff like that. Uh, this dreadnought stayed still. This guy's moved. Um, and yeah, that's about well. We've got the assault squad who have deep struck or arrived from meteoric descent or whatever they call it these days. Uh, just in front, there's a bit of a screening unit. So as long as none of our units die in our turn, then Grom Brindle will be getting three three presents this turn from the assault squad, the scout squad, and the Razorback, and then charging towards us, which they're would be not quite nice. Squad, they're a mobile present delivery service. <laughs> mobile present delivery. It's, it's Amazon. There's Prime a little, now. <laughs> a little slight on my back. So uh, my librarian is in this transport, so there's going to be no um, um, no psychic phase this turn. So shooting phase coming up. So guys, at the end of the um, shooting phase, um, basically all these small arms fires have sh and you know little D3 shots are already gone. Uh, we shot into the bikes and left them bikes on one wound. We shot into the guardians, got rid of bright lands because Neil wanted a cheeky three up and it didn't work out. Yeah, we killed, we killed, we killed plenty because that's the big unit into this one. Yes, that's the unit of twelve. I think it saved the squad. Yeah, so we've we've killed killed nine of them. The both sniper squads shot into the farseer and left it on one wound because obviously with snipers we can target it. Um, and basically we've just saved, we've got the Laz Talon, which has targeted the Wraith Knight. We've got the Hunter Killer, which has targeted the Wraith Knight. We've got the Laz Cannon in this squad that's targeted the Wraith Knight. And we've got the Laz Cannon Missile Launcher that's also targeted the Wraith Knight. So we haven't got first blood yet, but we're gonna bloody well try. <laughs> what, so, uh, what's a Wraith Knight? Exactly, so I'll, shall I do my stuff first and work my way back? Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna do the Laz Talon first at the Wraith Knight. So this is hitting on fours. Uh, it's two shots, strength nine, minus three, D6. Rerolling ones because I use Wisdom of the Ancients on the Dreadnought. So basically, everything around here has been rerolling, which has been quite nice. So three uh, falls to hit. Never mind. Three's to wound. It's a wound, so it's minus three. So you got a six. You got five on pain one. And he does pass it. That's a shame. Uh, right. Does the scatter shield still do the same thing? Before you do that, we might have to take right. tests for being blind. Okay. We'll do that at the end. We'll work it out because okay. it's not gonna make a difference. We've got the okay, we've got the uh, hunter killer, so this is hitting on fours as well because I moved. And I'm gonna command point it because I haven't used one yet. So command point, of course. Six points, well spent. <laughs> and you dropped a present. And I dropped my present. Never mind. Uh, Elliot, we'll just do your last cannon here, which is in this squad, and that's gonna go into the the Wraith Knight as well. Yep. So threes to hit, but you get to reroll ones because you didn't move. Oh, oh. You got a hit. Well, I need okay. To. Threes to wound. This is where. It's a wound. Oh. It's a five thing one. He does make it as well. <laughs> so now the twin last cannon. Hitting on threes. Both hit. Wounding on threes. Both oh, wound. wound. Two five ups. This is where it's game over now. No. He's past them both. <laughs> <laughs> Missile wow. launchers. How many shots does it get? What? Just one shot. Just Hitting on threes. It hits. Wounds on fours. Can tell the strength eight. It's a wound. It's a wound. Two, it's still a five up save. Yeah, five up save. Oh, it's, oh. it's D6 damage. Yes. D6, D6. Ah. Ah. It's three oh. wounds. Yeah. The crowd goes wild. Wow. Three last cannons missile launcher and the last talon. Did three nothing. <laughs> that was terrible. Well done, Neil. Well done. We did get quite a few wounds through. It's just Neil was shit hot with his, <laughs> with his rolling. 21 wounds left. Just say yeah. snipers. Yeah, this is true. So, that is the end of our turn. As I said, the, 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 the flyer doesn't have a present, but the assault squad is going to give Grombrindle a present, the scouts and the razor back. So that means Grombrindle is going to move three inches towards us. I might try a cheeky charge. You're going to try a cheeky charge? You've not got first blood. Rather than dropping a present on. Ooh. Oh, rather than dropping a present on. Ooh. Ooh. And if, and if you charge Ooh. from there, oh. the door to let us got presents on. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I think that's going to be a risky move, my friend. Oh. Oh God! Denying the denying glory. It's the denying glory, but do I think. Want, do you want to give gifts or receive the pain? <laughs> Elliot, Ch choice. I feel like on the on remembering Sanguinius, we should charge headlong into battle. Okay, even though you're a dark angel. Yeah. Don't you want to hide in the rock? I'm an angel of. Don't death. you want to hide in the rock? No. Okay, charge the bike. We're remembering our uncle. Good I'm, luck. Have I'm, fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shoot something at you first. Okay. So D3 overwatch shots with the haywire cannon. He gets three, hitting on sixes. No hits. Elliot would like to make a charge. It's oh, about it's... nine or ten. Because we have killed a few now. He goes. It's a ten. Can we check it, Dan? He's definitely in there. Yeah. 
Okay, so the Charge Ranger just get, got within an inch. They've charged like this to keep out of the way of the Avatar who could have intervened. But I'm going to say if you're piling like that, it's very cheeky. So, Elliot, would you like to attack with your Power Fist or your normal dudes first? Power Fist first. So this is minus one to hit? Yep. So, so hitting on fours. fours. Beautiful, two hits. Strength eight, so wounded on twos. So one wound. How would you like to make a wound one? Come on, Elliot. Dead. And he's dead. <laughs> First strike. It's a shame we didn't kill one from each unit, each army, because that would have been nice. So the present goes there. And then because you're within three, would you like to pick up the present? Yeah. Yeah. So we got two presents there. You forgot that one. What we'll do, we'll use one counter. That makes more sense. Okay. There you go. So Elliot's picked up that present. And then we're going to drop off two presents there. So Grand Brindle's going to move two inches towards us. And I think that's the end of our turn, I think. So... It doesn't make a difference when we're consolidating to the Ray Fight, does it? So I, I wouldn't, off. as long as he we'll stays there. Like yeah. yeah. And also hit yeah. you. Yeah. Well. yeah. All right, we'll do that in a second. So we'll do the, just do that off camera. We'll have a little token so we know where he is. So, Xenos, turn one, coming up. So guys, that is the end of the Xenos movement phase. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a cluster in the middle now. I mean, normally we play at edges. I'm like, don't play at edges, let's play in the middle. And we always play it down the sides. But today, we're playing there. So just at the end of our, our turn, um, Grand, Grand Brindal has moved. He's just under the Razorback. There is a little counter underneath, but we just put him on top so he's easy to see. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, the Death Jester has moved forwards. The Rangers have stood still. The War Walker's arrived on from reserve, and he looks like he's looking at a last cannon in this building, did you say? Um, the the Harley Quinns have jumped forwards because they are stupid fast. The Wraith Knight is looking like he's a bit angry. Kane has come out in full force, and the Guardians, did they advance there? They did, yes. Okay, okay. So, that is the end of the movement phase. Do you have a psychic phase, guys? Yeah, we do. Oh, just to point out as well, they've used mm. the, um, the new stratagem out of the chapter. Prism. Ah, the prismatic, prismatic blur. blur. So they've yeah. advanced and they have a three plus in one to the end of the turn. Yeah. Okay, very cheeky, very cheeky. So, uh, Eldar psychic phase. What would you like to start with, guys? So, I'm going to start with Doom from the Farseer. Okay, so the Farseer behind this wall. On the assault squad. Okay, warp charge. Seven. Okay. And he gets so it on go off that. So, we can't deny it. So I'm getting caught on Harlequins. Yep, yeah, so I get to re-roll to wound against them. Right. What's next? Shall I start yeah, Smite? Yeah, I'm going to okay. Smite. Okay, the onto the Assault Squad as well. So on a 5. That's on a 10. On a 10. You might as well re-roll that 4. Oh yeah, Runes of the Farseer yeah. can get a free re-roll. Totally, yeah. So you can try and get the 11. Nope. Which you don't. So we can't deny it. Um, so you do D3 Mortal Wounds. And it That's kills it. two of them. It's, it's going to be, be two ball pistol, guys. Elliot's just chilling over there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two dead. So now you've cast Smite. Obviously, we are playing the beta Smite rules. So now, if you want to cast it again, it is minus one. So you do need a six. six to be fair. So I'm going to start with this cast one. Next. He's going to cast Twilight Pathways on this Halcon unit. Okay. Which basically gives him another three move on advance. Okay. So it's cast on a seven. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just off. go off. Uh, oh, you're just letting vehicles on it. So yeah, we can't deny. Another free move and advance. And they can still charge. Yep. Oh. They get a five. So they move eight. Oh. What's that? Thirteen. 
Okay, so they've moved up to there uh, with an advance. So what's next, Dan? Uh, we'll cast Mirror of Minds on Fire. Mirror of Minds, what's that do? So we basically, if it's cast on 8+, plus, mm -hmm. and then we just dice off we until you beat my score on the dice. Okay. But you take a mortal wound for every time I beat your score. Okay. It continues until either you die or you beat me. Right, okay. So, is, what, what charge? Like warp charge 8. Warp so charge 8. quite hard then. Which it does off. go off. Okay. So, we just dice off now. So, do you want to roll first or would you roll at the same time? Because command points and stuff like this. Don't matter. Like, so you can still command Go for it. So, I get a 3 to start with. And I get a 5. Um, see, that's what I mean. You can wait so, to see if I've rolled or not. It's very cheeky. It won't matter either way. You're going to try and command point it to try no, and keep going? You're going to save it? Yeah, I've only got 4 left, so I know. Big build oh. up there. I was very scared. Worth it. <laughs> Any more Worth psychic powers, dude? Yeah, um, so we're going to cast um, Fog of Dreams onto the Hellblasters. From where? From this one. Okay, go for it. Does that, what's that do? Uh, it gives them minus one to hit all units. Okay. So, um, it's cast on seven. Which doesn't it cast. does go off, so they're minus one. Yep. Okay. Um, Anything else? And then, yeah, we're just going to cast Smite, that's the only power I've got left. And okay. The scouts are nearest, so. Yeah. Casting a six up now. Be a six, yeah. Yep. So it does go off D3 mortal wounds. But two. Two. So I'll just kill that one and that one. So there you go, that's the end of the psychic phase. Quite a lot there. Obviously, but we Eldar being Eldar, that's what they do. Um, but let's see if they can still retaliate in the shooting phase. So guys, shooting phase. All the small arms fire has d been done. Basically, Dan's done loads and loads and loads of grenades and not really done anything. Um, because cause, cause the um, advance, so he can't shoot his um, pistols or anything like that. Um, the... Uh, snipers did a wound to the Razorback and then another one from a Shuriken Cannon. Um, these guys and um, the Guardians ended up killing uh, the scouts that are here. So that's pretty much it. I've lost two ones to the Razorback. Farseer we've lost. The spear at the assault yeah, we've we've lost the scouts and the Farseer threw a spear at the assault marine. So that's all that's happened really. Uh, however, the Wraith Knight and the uh, Avatar have got to shoot. So what would you like to do first? Uh, the Avatar. In fact, I'll do the Wraith Knight first. Okay. So is he shooting at the uh, so Hellblasters? He's sun cannon at the Hellblasters and the Avatar's passed his Warlord trades on to him to let him re-roll failed hits. Okay. So we get 2d6 shots. Okay. So five. Command point that one. Mm. Command point. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Five shots. <laughs> but he gets to re-roll uh, fail, uh, he gets to re-roll misses. Yep. So he's hitting on threes. Okay. And re-rolling. So all, all hit. Is it strength six? Strength six. Minus? I think it's minus three. He's minus three. But it's two damage apiece. Yeah. yeah. So that's five wounds. Five wounds. We'll roll it and then we'll check. Because it's fives or sixes at least. So it's minus three. So it's six up saves. So oh, make one. So four of them dies. <laughs> so that is all but one left in that unit. So obviously he's going to be holding the present now. Um, so then Wailing Doom from the Avatar, where's he going to go? He's going to shoot the Stormhawk. Into the Stormhawk, okay. So that's two up, but minus one to hit, so you're hitting on threes. Hit. hit. Strength eight. Strength eight, so threes to wound. <sighs> and no command points. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Um, and basically, have you, got, have you got some charges to do by any chance? Mm, just on a couple. Okay, let's have a look around and see what we're going to do. So first charge, the Avatar of Kane is going to go into the Assault Squad. So Elliot, would you like to overwatch? Can I overwatch for my two plasma? Okay. Are you overcharge as well. Go for it. So six is to hit. Oh, yeah. So overwatch. <laughs> Both missed. Yeah. So I think you're going to charge with a, nice. with a nine. I'm sort of just going to turn around and just give them back a hand, I think. I Makes sense. Need, I don't need to go. <laughs> so now this unit is going to charge into the squad, the half the tactical squad with the plasma cannon in it. So Elliot, would you like to watch your bolters yep. first? Eight shots. All missed. D three plasma shots from the cannon. Mm. So three, three. Hitting on sixes. No. And it's a miss. I'm going to charge. Um, charge charge in. And it's a ten. Ten. Okay, let's move it in. So those guys have gone into there. So now what we're going to do, we've got this troop squad as well that are going to charge the Hellblaster and that unit under there. So Hellblaster overwatches with sixes to hit. Nothing. Would you like to overwatch with your bolters? Yeah, and pl oh, plasma. plasma already first. Of course, plasma. So hit those sixes. Nice. One hit. One. Two's made. Two's to kill. Ooh. One wound, okay. one save. So three up in one, so they press my Yep, good. Cool. And then the rest of the bolters. Yeah. Threes, mate. Oh, no, no wounds. Um, 
So I'm charge range. The big charge. Three. Probably not. Come on, point that one. Yeah, come on, point the one. I can get into that squad, but I want to get in both. You're out, unfortunately. Five. So these guys have charged into there, and I managed to get into both units for that five inch charge. Now the uh, Solitaire is going to charge the Razor back. So uh, Overwatch, we've got the Storm Bolter first, hitting on sixes. Missed. So now the Assault Cannon. One, two, three, four hits. Oh, he's not dead. Winning on twos. Four wounds, minus one. Okay, so three up in one. Three up in one. Takes, Takes two, two wounds. wounds. Very nice. So the Wraith Knight is also charging to come out with the Razorback. Have you got any more charges? Yeah, I'm going to do the Troop Master first and then the squad's going to try and go in. Go in. Into the Razorback. Into the Razorback. Don't like that Razorback, do you? So, well, he's sat on the objective, mate. This is very true. Go for it. So, uh, Troop Master. Yeah. He's, he's in. The one model, so... Make sure you stay an inch away from everybody else. Can I move my own models? And mine. <laughs> that, you mean that thing up there? <laughs> yeah. Right. And then the... And then, uh, and the squad. And the squad. I'm probably in as well. Okay, so anybody film it, the Avatar absolutely smashed the um, the assault squad. So now he's picked up their presence. Obviously, they had an extra one, so the Avatar has three now. So he's just become a massive threat. However, we're going to be doing this combat next. Yep. Um, so do you want to pile in, Dan? Yeah, I'll, these two will attack there, and then because he's in an inch of that one, he can choose. But he'll, he'll go against mm -hmm. the hell blaster. Yeah. So the, the two on the squad. So they get four attacks each, and these are Harlequin's kisses. Yep. So hitting your threes. Oh, against the dark engine. Against the dark engine. Yeah. So one missed. Nice. Wounding on. Uh, the strength five. So one on three. Not at and all. They are minus two. Minus one. Sorry, but just D three damage. And okay. So it's forced to wound. It is actually forced to wound. Yeah. It falls. Four, it four, is sorry. forced to wound. Yeah. He's only D three. Yeah. It don't matter. The one. They don't carry over. They don't carry over. Four plus save. Four plus save. Yeah. yeah. So you lose two. Nice. So now two of those died, so now against the Hellblast, you got the kiss. Yep. So same same jazz again. Hitting on three, all hit. Hitting on fours. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe three. Three. Minus one. Minus one. They do D3. So, so four up saves. So failed two. Uh, failed one, sorry. So one D3. Kills him. Yeah, he's dead. Bring in the mistletoe. Whoop, whoop. So then I drop that, and you'll gain it. So you know, that becomes two. Okay. Okay, so this unit is piled in. What he's done, he's been very cheeky. He's charged the plasma squad. Obviously, the plasma cannon's there. But then, as he's piled in, he's, he's pulled the razor back and the other tactical squad into combat. So, whilst he can't hit them, it means if we don't kill this unit, those two other two units can't shoot. Mm -hmm. Because we can't disengage or anything like that. So, would you like to just yep. all the kisses into that one squad? These are the Harlequin's caresses. So, hitting on three. So, I apologise. The caress. The caress. Lightly caress, don't, don't smooch. <laughs> Public service and so hitting on threes. <laughs> I am actually wounded on threes this time because these aren't the strength five ones. Okay. Um, and that's that many at minus two, mate. Six saves, minus two. The six five ups. And that's three dead. Four dead. Four dead. Four dead. Oh, Just the normal blades then. Hitting on threes. Yep. Um, wounded on fives, is it? Fives, yes, strength three. So two uh, wounds at minus. Dash. Dash. So two three ups or he's dead. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah. He's fine. So the buzzer cannon's still alive. Uh, consolidate into there. Um, obviously, we'll get to attack back. But for, for now, we've got the, the Wraith Knight versus the Razor back. So how many attacks do you get? What weapon are you using? Attacks. I'm going to punch it with my Wraith Bone Fist. Cool. So three's to hit. Oops. Wonderful. That's one hit. Man, I'm going to blow it up. Mm -hmm. Don't need to blow up. Mm. So strength eight. Yeah, so three's the wound. It's a wound. One wound. Minus. It is minus two. No. Three. Minus three. Six, Six up. D6. Command point. I'm going to go for it. It's one in six. We just got the one. Now we're going to get the six. No, we don't. Never mind. D6 damage. Six damage. D6, sorry. Six, six wounds. So he's down to two. So the Razorback is down to two wounds. Now the unit is going to strike. So there's two of them in combat. Yep. Because uh, the other ones guys can't reach. So these are just the embracers. So yep. threes. The two missed. Strength. Uh, these are strength four. So wounded on fives. Yep. Uh, that's two. And they're at minus three. Okay. So two six up saves. Command points already used. 
and we fail them both. Do I blow up? Oh, come on, six. No, don't blow up. So the Razorback is gone. So the Razorback has died, the Apothecary jumped out just to the side, and these guys have all consolidated towards the Apothecary, but like surrounding Grombrindle. So currently, unless I kill all of these, including the characters, and the, probably the Wraith Knight, then they'll be able to put the presence down. However, the Apothecary is going to strike at the unit with his Chainsword. We get uh, four attacks, threes to hit, threes to wound, two wounds, two normal saves. And I kill two. Yes! Don't forget death to the false elf <laughs> <laughs> death, to, death to the false elf and air. I get another attack. It hits. Wounds, take a save, I'm looking. <laughs> so that's those done. So now we're going to move on to this one here. So these three dudes from this unit is going to uh, in, attack into that squad. So you're going to do power sword first? Yes. So two attacks from the sergeant. Threes. Two hits. Threes, threes to yeah. wound. Yeah. Two For two wounds. Oh. You do have that in one still. Yeah, three up in For two, three up in ones. Make them both. Make them both. And then the two normal attacks from the unit. One hit. Wound. One wound, one three yeah. up. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. And he makes it as well. So now we've got <laughs> this unit words. to pile in. So now this unit is going to attack. Uh, seven attacks altogether because he's only got chainsaw. So three's to hit. Mr. Chain Bro. He hits once because he's really good, Dark Angel. And it is a wound. One wound. And he yeah. failed, one dead. One dead. You know you could have rolled all those together. So another four attacks now. Oh, look at them. So three attacks. Uh, all hit, sorry. Having a good punch. Three's to wound. Three wounds, three three oh, up saves. Punching clowns in face. Can you roll threes? Punching clowns in face, bro. No, no one dead. Rotten. One dead. Mm -hmm. Dan's giant hand. No. Yeah, I want to keep on. It's gone. It. So that is that unit done. So now I'll move on to this one here. So now the, this unit and this unit is under attack because they're just, there's just one attack each. So six attacks all together at that unit. Yep, hit on freeze. Boom. Five hits. Boom. Not too bad. That plasma cannon can't be bothered to hit anyone. He's too he's smack he's smack tired. Him he's tired, bless him. Three's to wound. Oh my god. Two. We were only one to wound because of the lieutenant. Five. Three wounds. Three wounds. Three four up saves. Can you do it? You're not a storm shield. One died. <laughs> uh, you. I get my three attacks with the razor back, hitting yeah. on sixes. No. Two hits. <laughs> Two because I'm seven, seven. One wound. Oh, that would have been good. Tracks away. Okay, and I believe, I don't think we've got any other combats to do. I believe that's everybody. So that is the end of um, Eldar turn one. Yep. So how many presents is he going to get? He's going to get one from there, there, five. there, Brave there, nine. and there. Yep. So he's going to get five presents. Those five inches are with? No. He, so the score is five, two. So obviously you have three more, so he moves three inches towards you. So he moves the distance. Yeah. The, 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 difference the, the difference in distance. Yeah. So he moves three inches. Because he, he likes you more, but he remembers that we gave him some presents he's, as well. He's basically gone back to where he was. <laughs> <laughs> basically, he's one inch closer to you guys. So at the end of Eldar Turn 1, Imperium Turn 2, Retaliation coming up. So, end of the Imperium turn two movement phase. Um, the Razorback has let out the Librarian and the Tactical Squad and then disengaged from combat round here. Um, the Apothecary has pulled out of combat. The Redemptor has charged round the back of combat. Tech Marines, like, looking at that Wraith Knight and thinking, I could learn something from that. I might chop it up with my axe. <laughs> the Flyer has obviously flown over there, but he's still within range of everything in the, mo in the party in the middle. Um, but otherwise, not much else in my stuff moves. Uh, Elliot's pulled out uh, with the 
plasma cannon and the tactical squad and use in, intractable intractable on the las cannon squad yeah yeah so that means he can still shoot even though they fell back yeah which but is he very... just moving so it'd be minus one with the last cannon okay not too bad not too bad um this dreadnought has charged forwards um look like basically he's within a six inch charge of the wraith knight he's within like four or five inch charge of the wraith knight however the linchpin of the turn is the psychic phase yeah and my librarian is within six inches of everything here. Librarian. So he's going to cast Null Zone. If this goes off, it means we won't have a repeat of last turn when we shot the Wraith Knight. <laughs> so the Null Zone is Walk Charge 8. I'm going to go for the big double six. Because that's what I need, basically. Because <laughs> they do not want this to go off. I don't have faith. So Null Zone. It's gone off on nine. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to play it safe and let them try and go for the 10. So that is Null Zone on 9. Farsi is going to dispel. Mm -hmm. That's an 8. We need to get a 10. Oh! Ah, and the room to the Farsi to re-roll the 3. Okay, so you need a 5 to stop this going off. 5 or a 6. 5 or a 6. Here goes nothing. I've got this. Oh, oh, it's gone off. Guys, <laughs> basically one. Very sanguineous. I'm only Unless kidding. Okay, and then I'm going to use Psychic Fortress. Um, actually, no. Let's go for a Cheeky Smite. Yeah. Cheeky Smite against... Um, it's going to be one of these. Or would you like to double check while I roll it? It goes off an 11. Let's so try and dispel. Oh, nearly. Does not dispel. Try, try, okay. try Command Point. You want to Command Point in as well? Yeah. On a 5. Four left. I, can't, I don't think I this... I need double 6, don't I? You do need double six. This is the best psychic phase ever. Let's see who it targets. Definitely the unit. It is D6 uh, damage. How many in that unit? Three. Three. Not anymore. <laughs> so uh, that unit is dead. Um, so now it is the shooting phase coming up. So end of the shooting phase, the tactical squad uh, blew, well, they didn't blow it up, but killed the flyer, which meant they could start targeting all these characters. The flamers went into him, the bolters went into him, the assault cannons went into him, we ended up killing those. So there's only the Wraith Knight there now and the Guardians. Um, the Dreadnought tried shooting this and did one wound, uh, two wounds, sorry, one wound, one wound got through um, with his storm bolters against that. Uh, tried shooting the Wraith Knight, but didn't do anything. The snipers again helped up clear the characters. So that is the end of the shooting phase, except for we've got last cannons, which she always says for camera. So, Elliot, would you like to do your first last cannon, the intractable one, or whatever yes, it was? Sir. So that's on a four. So it's hitting on four against the Wraith Knight. Yes. So four plus. It hits. It hits. Wounds on threes. It doesn't wound. Would you like to spend a command point? I've already used one this turn. It doesn't have an invon, so it will be a six up save. It does have an invon. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, it's an awesome. It doesn't have an invon. <laughs> Are you going to command point for a three up? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> command point on the three. I think really I've got Nagel's Rot. Nagel's Rot is... Save. Come on. It oh. doesn't wound. Okay. Sick. So now this one. Would you like to do the twin last cannon? I would love to. So three's to hit because you're not moved. One hit. Three's to wound. So one wound. So it's minus three, so it's a six up save. Six up break bone. Nope. Cool. D6. Six damage. D6 damage. I keep saying six. I don't mean that. It's one. Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> and the nice. missile launcher. <laughs> Hits. Wounds on a four. Does wound minus two, so it's a five up. Good. On the six. It's fine. Okay. So I've got my I've got sky hammers, which is the anti-air one, so I'm going to be minus two to hit now, so I'm hitting on fives. Two hits. Wounding on fives, because it's strength seven. No wound. And then the last talon hitting on fours. One hit. Um wounding on threes. We'll catch that. You know, threes. And it does wound, so it's six up save. Nope. Does not go. It does go through, so D6 damage. And it does six wounds. Very tasty. Okay, so that's the end of the shooting. Now it is time for charges. So, basically, I'll declare them. We'll, we'll let... I'll... Uh, who shall we charge first? Who's going to be the, the guinea pig? You're tougher. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, um... You're bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I will charge the Tech Marine first. Okay, 2d6 shots. Yeah, go for it. 7. Okay. So about 6 then. So one, one hit, one, one wound. Uh, one minus 3. So I'm in cover, so it's 5 up save. We failed, how two much dam damage? 2 damage, that's fine. So we'll charge in. And he's in with a 10, and he's going to charge round to there. So then, they're going to charge in, he's going to charge in, he's going to charge in. And anything else we can find, we're going to charge it in as well. 
So that is the end of the charge phase. Everyone actually made it. We've got the Redemptor, we've got the Dreadnought, we've got the Librarian, the Tactical Squad, and the Tech Marine. So basically what the plan is, is we've had to move the Ogron Brindle. He's actually under that dice there. As you can see, there's a little, little objective under there. The plan is, is if we kill the Wraith Knight, we can all kind of huddle around where Grom Brindle is and drop all the presents off. There's one, two, three, four, five. And that'll give it that'll put us in a two-point lead, which would be quite tasty. Um, but we'll just have to see. I think we're gonna start with the Redemptor, but at the start of the um, fight phase, I'm gonna use another command point, use Wisdom of the Ancients, so we're all all the Blood Ravens are re-rolling ones to hit against the Wraith Knight. So, I'll just double check the stat line and we'll do the Redemptor first. Okay, so we'll kick off with the Redemptor. He has four attacks with his Redemptor Fist. It's strength 14, uh, minus three, D6 damage. Um, Rerolling ones to hit, and he's also a Salamander, so I get to reroll another hit, a miss as well, and a hit, and a wound, sorry. So threes to hit. Rerolling ones, but then I'll use Salamanders to reroll that one. So four hits. Strength 14, so he's wounding on threes. Rerolling one of them. Four wounds. Minus three. Minus three, so six up saves. Makes two. Does he make that one's cocked? Makes two, so 2d6 damage goes through. How many wounds does he have? 14, so I'm alive. You are alive for now. <laughs> and I'm going to command point the one damage to make it one four damage. damage. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you should know better. <laughs> cool, so I've got one command point left now. And uh, I can't find ten. Neil, would you like to interrupt or can we carry on? Yeah, I think we should interrupt Neil and punch the library to death. Yeah. So you get your final pin. They are going to spend two command points. How many command points you got left? Uh, I've got. Oh, you've got three left. Oh, two in there. So you got you've got three left now. Yeah, okay. I've got four, so, I'm not being... so he's going to use his, his feet, not his fist this time. He's going to target the librarian. So it is forced to hit now. It's forced to hit with twelve attacks. Yep. Not great. It's not bad. It's strength eight, so it's two to wound. Yep. Needs a minus two as well. Okay, so how many wounds is that? It's six, six and six. Rooms. Okay, so minus, so minus two, it's D3 damage. I am going to activate the nipples. Obviously, oh, this is Sunny, so he does have armor indomitus, so he's going to activate his once per turn invun. So he's got three plus save, no rerolls, so I've got to use command points. And two go through. So you need to get lucky here. So 2D3 damage. And <laughs> he does. Bye, bye, <laughs> he is dead. Bye. So he's dead and he drops the present there. So now it's back to us, probably with the Dreadnought. So now this Dreadnought is going to strike into the Wraith Knight. The Wraith Knight does have his invun back now because Null Zone is gone, obviously. So four attacks hitting on threes. All hit. Strength 12. Strength 12, so wounded on threes. So one wound. Wow. This is minus three, so he's going to get a five up in, but it's three damage. Okay. Nope. So three damage down to seven wounds. So the Tech Marine will strike now, so he has three attacks and he's going to use one on his servo arm. So this is um, strength eight, minus three, uh, three damage, uh, but it does make me minus one. I can only allocate one attack to it. The other two I'm going to use is uh, Power Axe, which is strength five, minus two, one damage. So I'll go servo arm first, hitting on um, fours now. Yeah, minus one, yeah. Yeah, it's fours. Yeah. Which I hit, so it's strength eight. God damn it, Lawrence. Fours. I'm going to use my Salamander reroll to try and get a four. Which I don't. Terrible. That's so then his, his power axe. Uh, both hit. Uh, strength five, so five to wound. Nothing. Nothing. So now the tactical squad have got their work cut out for them. So now the tactical squad will strike. They've got seven attacks because they've got the chain sword. Hitting on threes. And we get one free reroll. And also rerolling ones. But well, never mind. And then wounded on sixes. With one free reroll. So two saves, nice. two yep. three ups. So uh, just take two wounds from the, from the tactical squad. So he's, he's down to five wounds. Okay. So that is all of our charging units that have attacked. I mean, it's not great. We do we do have the objective, so we can drop some presents off. However, um, we're going to have to do these two units now. So seven attacks striking into this unit from this bit larger squad here. So hitting on threes. So four hits, wounded on threes, four wounds, four saves. Four guns. One dies. One dead. One dead. Okay. Oh, it's gonna have to be a kiss. So now it's your turn to strike. Would you like to strike with this unit? Uh, yeah, we're gonna actually hit the three-man squad just so we can. Yeah, it try makes get sense. One of the presents off. Okay. So 
on threes. So eight attacks hitting on threes into the smaller squad. Yep, all hit. Nice. And the kiss is a strength of four, so fours. Mm -hmm. Uh, five <laughs> minus two. Five at minus two. Five at minus two. No, oh, sorry, five minus one. Sorry. Five at minus one. <laughs> Got it. So yeah. Oh, that's the unit dead. Yeah. Okay, so that's that unit dead. Um, and they have dropped their present. They've actually dro just dropped it there. So whilst they can't pick it up, neither can they for now. So, um, basically, at the end of the turn. Well, the end of the phase, these guys will pick this up because they're closer. So this tactical squad now is two. But then because they're stood on Grand Brindle, they're going to drop off two. And then Technomarine's going to drop one off as well. So that is three points to us, which puts us both on five currently. So it's matched. So Grand Brindle is actually going to stand still. So that is the end of um, Imperium turn two. So Eldar, I've got the work cut out for him. And their turn two coming up. So guys, that is the end of the Eldar movement phase. Uh, the Farseer has come out from hiding behind the wall. The Guardians have advanced up behind here then forgotten their present. They have, yes. A puppy is crying in the background. Um, the Avatar has moved up here with um, the the Solitaire. Shadow Seer. Shadow apologise. He's also used the Prismatic Blur again. Yep, yeah, so that's the 3 plus in one if it advances. Yeah. This one's moved up to here and the Wraith Knight has jumped out of combat. Um, it looks like he's going to be doing some shooting this turn, I think. Definitely. Definitely doing some shooting. We've got one, um, oh, what are these called? Star Weavers. Yep. Up here. We've got another one here. Yep. Looks like they don't want, don't like our sniper scouts anymore. So, <laughs> so yeah, and the, and the wall walker has just trundled forward a little bit. So it is now the Eldar turns uh, psychic phase. So guys, psychic phase. What would you like to start? Um, we're going to cast uh, Mirror of Minds first. Just Mirror of Minds. Yeah, onto the Dreadnought from this one. Okay, onto the Dark Angels Dreadnought. Onto the Dark Angels Dreadnought. So what charge? Eight, is it? Uh, yes, what charge? Okay. So Mirror of Minds. Uh, doesn't go off. Doesn't go off. You only rolled four. Three and a one. Yeah, so no. So no mind. No mind. Next power. Um, Twilight Pathways on okay. this guy. Okay, what charge? Uh, six. Go for it. Yeah, it does go off. What does that do? So they can just move as, as if it was the movement phase. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. So we're just going to move up to there. Very cheeky. Okay, what's next? Um, do you want to do yours first? Yeah. So I'm going to put Guide yep. onto the Wraith Knight. Okay. Warp Charge. So this is Warp Charge 7. Cast on 7. Just goes off, yeah, lucky. Okay. So just pop that there. Yep. And we're going to Doom the Contempt Dreadnought. The Redemptor Dreadnought. Redemptor Dreadnought. Go for it. Warp Charge. This is warp charge seven as well. Okay, go for it. Cast yep. on an eleven. Yeah, cool. So that does go off, so you get to re-roll to wound against the Redemptor. Very cheeky. Okay, so is that the end of the psychic phase? Yeah, no, I've just got Fog of Dreams, which is going to cast on, on the um, tactical squad, which is basically minus one to wound all uh, infantry. Uh, wound? Sorry, hit all infantry. Minus one to hit, okay. Uh, so, yep. from them, warp charge seven. Nope. It does not go off. Terrible, Dan. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. No. So that's the end of the psychic phase. So it is the Eldar shooting phase coming up. So almost end of the shooting phase. The uh, Death Jester took out the Plasma Cannon. The War Walker shot into this unit and took out a couple. Uh, this shot into the Scouts and killed one. This guy shot into the Scouts and killed one. These shots the pistols and didn't do anything. Uh, the Spear went into Redemption, didn't do anything. And... Um, it's about it really, isn't it? I mean, they, these shot into the scouts and didn't do anything either. Yeah. It's been a bit of an uneventful shooting phase so far. Two up. <laughs> yeah. Because we're all in buildings, the scouts obviously get plus two to their saves. So we've got Wailing Doom from the Avatar. So he's put his own ability, his wall of trait on To reroll himself. So he's hitting okay. on twos. Okay. He's shooting the Redemptor into. We are shooting the Redemptor. Yeah. So he's hit. Uh, yeah. Strength eight. Okay. Threes to wound. That's and a we've fail. Got Doom. 
We do re-roll with a doom. We did get doom off. It's a wound at minus yeah. four. Okay, so I can't do anything about it. Melt it, melt a gun, so it's 2d6, pick the highest. And it takes four wounds, so he's down to ten. And the Wraith Knight, what would he like to shoot? I think the Wraith Knight is going to have to shoot the uh, Green Dreadnought. The Green Dreadnought, okay. So, yeah. Good. So 2d6 shots. So 2d6 shots. So five, five shots. shots. Might as well, might as well, might as well. Okay, for the two, so three plus, three, so six shots. Hitting on fives now. With a reroll from Guy. Yep. So one hit, reroll in. Three hits. Three hits. Strength six. So fives to wound. Two wounds. Minus. Minus three. I'll roll these for Elliot, he's chilling with puppies. So so takes four wounds. Takes four wounds. He's down yeah, it's down to four. So is that the end of the shooting? No, I've just got some hallucinogen uh, launchers from okay. these two. So um, I'm going to fire that one at that. So it's, if it hits, it's basically two d six. If I beat your leadership, you take d three more wounds. Okay. So that guy into that guy. Yeah. He didn't advance, so he's hitting on twos. Hits. Hit. So, so leadership, leadership eight. Eight. So. Which you don't be. <laughs> <Nine. laughs> and then he's this one. Gonna fire into, him. into the tech marine. Yeah, so this one hits on three. Does I'll not hit. That it's Command hit. point. Yeah, it's the end of the shooting phase. Misses no. as well. Brilliant. Excellent. So that is the end of the shooting phase. So guys, it, so guys it's now the charge phase. I'm going to use. Nothing. I've just changed my mind. Never mind. I was going to use Wisdom of the Ancients, but I think I'll save it. So, what, where would you like to start? Um, so this shadow seer is going into the uh, tech marine. Into the tech marine. Okay, so Overwatch with his bolt pistol. No. Reroll because he's a salamander. Hits. Uh, hits. Wounds. So I'm on a three up save because of the uh, thing. Yep, good. Because of the thing. Because of the um, prismatic blur. Thank you. <laughs> that exactly what it were. There you go. Prismatic. There you go. He's gone there. So now this one is going to charge into the apothecary. So the apothecary is going to throw a bolt pistol. Come on, uh, not come on point nearly. Close one. Salamanders. It missed. About four inches. You were definitely using a command point there, mate. Uh, seven inch. Oh, sure. Seven inch. Whee! I said command salamanders to re-roll with their master crafted stuff. Yeah. Okay, so who's charging next? Um, I'll put him into the, um, the Razorback. Death Jester into the Razorback. Yeah. Okay, so watch him up. So the assault cannon did one, one wound to the Jeff Jester, so he's just going to charge in, stop me shooting again. Yeah. Not a lot I can do about that, really. I'm going to have to keep driving around to stop him charging me. <laughs> Okay, so what's next? So Wraith Knight yep. is going into the Dreadnought and the Tactical Squad. Okay, so let's do, well, I'll do the important overwatch. Melt a gun, re-roll because I'm a salamander. Missed, and I'll do the rest off camera. So um, that this caused no wounds, this guy caused no wounds. So charge range, so eight. Uh, eight, you're in, easy. So that guy's landed there, so now uh, this um, Star Weaver is going to jump into these scouts, so we'll overwatch. Missed. So, <laughs> charge range, I think you're in, you can just leave him there. And then same again for this one, so four shots, but this one has a Salamander, so I get a reroll, and I don't hit. So he's just charging to there, we're not going to move him because he's balancing, but he's just like, he's here really. And that present is there, and that present is there, just so we all know. So the Avatar with three presents is going to charge into Redemptor, so overwatch. So the Redemptor with all of his shots actually caused two wounds, which is quite nice. Um, so that is there. So I believe that's all of the charges. So now who would you like to strike with first? Puppy. I've got two. I've got two. Pu Puppy has two command points. <laughs> so we're going first? Avatar's going first. Okie doke. So the Avatar has five attacks. He's hitting on twos. One missed. I might. Command point on those. No, you get the damage. Okay, I'm not going to come on point by though. <laughs> Strength? Eight. Okay, so threes to wound, re rolled in. Re With a re roll. With doom. So okay. Four wounds at minus four. Okay, so oh. no save. D6 so damage? 2d6 per. Wow, okay. So I've got 10 to go through. No, it's not 2d6, it's just a metal gun. So it's, it's no, force. Well, two dice when picking the damage for this weapon. Yeah. So the first one? Yeah. Does two, two. wounds. Second one. Eight left. There's five wounds. <laughs> Three left. Third one. Rexing. Yeah. And the last Third one, one. Just a really wrecking. Does four. So 17 wounds. Okay. 
So does he blow up? That's the real question, because I hope he does. No. He doesn't. That's a shame. So that is the Redemptor gone. So the Avatar has uh, consolidated towards the Dreadnought. Uh, the present was left there from the Redemptor. However, Elliot, have you got something you want to say? No. Uh, but do you want to interrupt? I'm going to interrupt. <laughs> You've got to spend two commands. <laughs> Elliot's very poorly, bless him. So the Dreadnought is actually going to interrupt and punch the um, punch the Wraith Knight. So he's got four attacks. Hitting on threes. All hit. Strength 12, so wounded on threes. Three wounds at minus three, so it's your invun. Uh, three damage a pop. So if you fail two of them, he's dead. If you fail two of them, he's dead. Um, I might come on point one of these. Yeah. You oh, you didn't use one, did you? No. So you do need a five to save him. No. You don't. So does he blow up on a five? No. He does not blow up either. So that is the Wraith Knight gone, thank God. So that is the Wraith Knight gone. Uh, so now the... Um, What's this one called? Shadow Seer. Shadow Seer. He's gonna, um, he's gonna attack the Tech Marine. Yep, yeah, so um, they get three attacks mm -hmm. with a miss save, so hitting on twos. Yep. Yeah. One hit. Um, <laughs> has he got Tempting. I'm, I'm gonna use a command. Point. Tempting. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> one hit. Strength? Uh, five, so the threes. three to Excellent. Terrible. <laughs> okay, that's that unit done. Have you got any more charging yep, units? Okay, so this same, this one here. Are you gonna get three ones done? Probably. No. I've got one one. One one. Threes. Uh, three's to hit. Who's the yeah, wound, sorry. One, one wound. Minus? Yep, minus. Two minus two. Minus one, so four up save on the apothecary. And he's fine. Why did you roll that? Just see what I'd uh, so would it be wounds. would it be three wounds? Three wounds. <laughs> Never mind. So, so um, just the Death Jester against the Razorback, and then we get to strike back. He gets yeah. one pre unit. Of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, have you done both Razor boots yet? No, I don't know any of that yet. Go for so it. Mikey, what tree are you? I know. Uh, so, he's only strength three. So yeah. nothing, nothing. So is that all your charging units? No, we've got two birds. Two birds and there he okay. scouts. So, so we've got yeah, this yeah. one. So now this Star Weaver is going to attack the scouts. Yep, so I'm hitting on threes with three attacks. Yeah, all hit. Yep. Yeah. And they are strength five, so three to wound. Okay. All wound. All and wound. you get your normal armor save. I need dice, I need dice. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> there, four up saves. And we'll reroll that one because it's cocked. So one dead. Yep. Not bad. Uh, Same again. We'll go across here. So three to hit. All hit again. Yep. Yeah. And three to wound. Three to wound. Two. Two wounds, two four ups. Oh. Two dead. Two down. So they're because they're actually better than the actual Harlequins for some reason. So now it's the first um, already engaged unit. Yep. So, so two the, kisses. Two kisses into the, uh, the Dark Angel squad. Two miss. Mm-hmm. Needing fours. Wowza, I'll just take those. Yeah. Minus one or two? Um, it's minus two in six. Uh yeah, we failed two. Not bad at all. So we'll kill that one and we'll kill that one. Okay. So now it's ours to run through. Yeah, well, you're so we'll start with this unit. We get three and one from the dude. So three's to hit. Two hits. Three's to wound. One wound. One save. And four up. Four up. Yep. Kills one. Beautiful. So we'll do the Razorback with his three attacks hitting on sixes. Two hits. <laughs> two wounds. <laughs> four up in buns. Boom. So takes a wound. How many has he got left? And three. And three. Cool. This unit of scouts, so we've got the chainsaw on the sergeant and then two other dudes hitting on threes. Wounded on five, so it's too much tougher as five. Nothing. So then we've got two scouts here. I did kill the sergeant just to try and get some movement off him, really. So three, three's to hit, but I get to re-roll one because of salamanders. Don't need it. Five's to wound, get to re-roll one because of salamanders. Five! Nope. <laughs> so now the tech marine's going to go. He's going to use one attack with his servo arm. It is uh, fours to hit because I'm minus one. I'm going to use the, it would be threes, but obviously I'm minus one, so I get to use my Salamander reroll. Yep. Still misses, beautiful. The axe, hitting on threes. Two hits, strength five, threes to wound. Fours to wound because the minus one. Of course, yep. so one wound at minus one. Yep, and a three up because he's got the prismatic blur on. Good. He's fine. So now the tactical squad will attack the solid, the, uh, keep calling it the solid, the shadows here. <laughs> hitting on threes, get to reroll because I'm a Salamander. And then uh, threes to wound, fours to wound, because it would be threes, but minus one. 
get to re-roll rolled one fail, which I don't have, so two wounds. Yeah. Three ups. Take one wound. Wounds. Okay. The Apothecary gets to strike into this one. Um, so threes to hit. Again, I get to re-roll one. Three hits. Threes to wound now. He doesn't have this. Oh, he does have. He does have the same thing, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But still fours. One wound. One save on this one. Uh, it's just a four up in one on this one. Yep. Yeah. And I believe that is everybody. That was a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, we, we, everybody <laughs> fluffed hard. The dreadnoughts, the dreadnoughts went bam. Oh, apart from big guy, yeah. Yeah, the dreadnoughts went bam, and then that was it for combat, really. So that is the end of Eldar turn two. Uh, we still hold the objective because we're objective secured. Mm -hmm. uh, so no presents get to drop, and we are a matching score, so we don't actually move either. So now it is the Imperium turn three coming up. So guys, that is the end of the movement phase. Uh, the Razorback is disengaged and jumped there. Reason being, if I do survive and still hold that objective, we can give Grumrindle a present and make him move one inch. Winner, winner. <laughs> uh, the Lieutenant's charge forwards. Looks like he's gonna be joining combat here. This guy stayed still, but I think we all know he's just gonna turn around, not not technically move and target that. Uh, the Flyer is flown around here, probably gonna gun down some Guardians, maybe. And basically, I've decided to stay in combat, like with these, with those, because I thought all the bolt pistols before I actually attack as well. I think that's going to be beneficial. So, but the big one is the Deathwing have finally uh, come down uh, just outside of nine inches from the Farseer, and that looks like that's going to be their target this turn. So, no psychic phase again. So it's the shooting phase coming up. So we've done, basically done all the small arms fire, all the bolt pistols shot into everything. We caused a couple of wounds on the so on the Shadow Seer. Shadow this guys, it's a shadow see it's not a solid time. No, I broke his staff on my Terrible. Uh bolt pistol shot into here didn't do anything. Assault cannons and last talon shot into the guardians and killed them, and then the assault cannon shot there and only killed one. Brilliant. <laughs> um basically we have been testing out the new beta rules as well. So this lieutenant actually shot the death jester with his plasma cap the plasma gun because this closest unit is a character, so that it doesn't count. The other closest unit was there, and then this one was further away, so he could actually go from there and shoot a character. It's amazing. Mm, it's and we did the same over there, because those guys did, were going to shoot the Farseer, but I told them it was a bad idea. I said, shoot the Death Jester, because the other closest models are other characters as well. So it's very interesting. It wasn't even the unit. My, uh, it was the Foe Smiter. Foe Smiter. Of course. Yeah. And popped him in the, between the eyes. So, uh, that is the end of the shooting phase, except for we got we saved this dreadnought. He's going to shoot that warwalker into it. This guy, he's going to shoot into them. <laughs> so, last cannons. He always misses with one. Always misses with so one. So lazy. Three's to wound. Oh, it's a wound. There's one wound. Five up in one. Nope. Which he fails. D6 damage. Shit. Five oh, wounds. Five. Is it one left? Yeah. Missile launcher. Yeah. One shot. Hit on threes. It's a hit. Wounding on threes. It's the wound, please, sir. It's a wound. It's oh. another save. Yes. It does pass. So he's on one wound. <gasps> Crazy. So that is the end of the shooting phase. So we do have some charges. So he's going to go into there. Yeah. He's in. <laughs> I'll go for it. Yeah. Yay, 11. Wonderful. Oh, shit, I needed that elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got the Terminators into the Farseer. Yep. Would the Farseer like to overwatch? Throw a mighty spear. Yeah, he's going to throw his stick. Go for it. Nope. Well, he threw it. He did throw Very it, to be fair. So, charge range of nine. Oh. It's a six. So, he has his man Master of Maneuver. He does have Master of Maneuver. But I'm going to have to read that so you won't have a So we'll read it. So, Master Maneuver lets Dark Angel's units within six re roll their charge range. So, re roll both dice. You need a nine. And he gets a seven. Mm. Ugh. I have no command points left. Well. Never mind. Never mind. So, that's the end of the charge phase. So, it's the fight phase coming up. 
the lieutenant, because he's a charging unit, will attack with his uh, chainsword. So, uh, one missed. And then it's threes to wound, re-rolling ones. Sorry, fours, because if it's, it's the shadow seer, yeah. makes you minus one. Re-rolling ones. One wound, one Ooh. save. Uh, so four up on him. He's good. And he's passed. So now it's our first non-charging unit. Dreadnought? Dreadnought. Dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze to hit with his power fist against the avatar. One missed, not bad. Same again. Strength 12, so two's to wound. It's three wounds. It's three in ones of five up. It fails one. So we take straight through. It's three damage. Four. Down to four wounds, not too bad. Can't complain at that. I mean, he's dead now, the Dreadnought, but yeah. never mind. So, um, guys, would you like to choose a unit? Hmm. So the Avatar is going to hit the Tactical Squad. So he doesn't have a degrading profile, so he's still got like five attacks. Hitting on twos. Yeah. Um, two, killing on twos. Okay. That's five dead. Five dead. So that unit is dead, we put Grand Brindle back. So the Tech Marine is going to strike now, and he's going to strike against the um, Shadow Seer. So he's got his Servo Arm, hitting on um, fours. Mm -hmm. Rerolling ones, and we'll use a Salamander to reroll to hit. <sighs> Every time. Power Axe, hitting on threes, terrible. Okay, so that was a waste, never mind. <laughs> uh, but now it is your next unit to strike. It is possibly. No, we'll go there, try and get rid of them. Can okay. I, I potentially kill all three of them. Yeah. Oh. So four attacks, hitting mm -hmm. on threes. Can still technically kill them all. Uh, wound on fours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One wound, but minus Five two. Four. Minus one, four up. Then he's yeah. fine, yeah. loving it. So now the Apothecary will strike in with his four attacks where he's got a chainsaw, so he's hitting on threes. Two hits, wounded on fours. Uh, two wounds, I should have re-rolled one of them, but never mind. So two wounds on the Shadow Seer. Yeah, so it's just four on this one. Mix above. Mix them both. Six. Okay, so now your next unit is? Uh, yeah, I'll just hit him back with that. Go for it. So, so three attacks, hitting on twos against the Apothecary. All hit. Okay. Uh, strength five, so threes. Threes to wound. One. Uh, Any minus? Yeah, minus one. Yeah, go. Yeah, go for it. Four up save. And he fails. Six, D3. One. One damage. Okay, so the next unit, these two scouts are going to attack the um, Shadow Weaver, Star Weaver, whatever, that thing. <laughs> so the, sal the Salamander Z's one, so they get to reroll to hit. And then they get a reroll to wound. Reroll that one. Two wounds. Nice. Two uh, saves. Yep, yeah. four farmers. Oh. Fail one. Take one wound. So down to four. Down to four. Now he gets a strike back. Yep. Yeah. Three hits. And five. Yep, yeah. three wounds. No more Three wounds. So four up saves. And that's one dead. Mm -hmm. So now we'll go with this scout squad. So we've got three attacks against it. So threes to hit. We'll hit. Five to wound. One wound. One wound. Takes a four armor save. Yep. Nope, takes a wound. Takes that a wound. Five. Chip away. <laughs> so now that one will strike back. Yep. Takes one. Uh, wound of three again. Two, two wounds. wounds. No one save. Two, uh, two four up, sorry, because you're a scout. Come on. One dead. Not bad, not bad. Can't complain, really. Changing blows. I believe that's the end of the combat. Uh, no, I've still got that shadow wound. Avatars killed the squad. Both Shadow Weavers and... Both Shadow Weavers. Okay, so do you want to do this one first? Yeah, that, no, that, that's where that one's for, aren't it? Yeah, because he tried to hit the off carry. So this one? Yeah. So hitting on twos. All hit. All hit. Money on threes. Um, yeah, two wounds. Two. Minus one. Two three up saves. And we fail one. Do I command point? Oh, no. I'm going to command point. So it does do three damage if it doesn't go through. And it does pass. That's my last command point gone. <coughs> so the Tech Marine is alive. Um, so let's just see what happens to Grumbrindle. So that is the end of the turn. We did forget about this unit, but they did just clear him off and then pick both up presents. So they're going to hide in cover now because we've got three. So we've got a present lying around there from the Redemptor. We've got a present there from... 
That was the other Harlequin twin. Ah, the other Harlequin twin. They moved on to it. Okay. Yeah, okay. And that was the Death Jester. So there's a couple of presents knocking about. A lot of units are still holding them. Obviously, this is what these little dice are representing. The other dice are going to be the wounds. Um, so we looked, did have a look. This dreadnought is just outside of um, just outside of three inches from the centre. So this um, objective is actually well, Grombrindal is being uh, contested because these two are within three, but so are these two. So it doesn't. It, it won't be able to get any more presents. And since it's still matched at the end of our turn three, he won't be moving either. So it's going to be an interesting turn to say the least. So it's Eldar movement phase, turn three, coming up. So, end of the Eldar movement, um, the Farseer has run and picked up the uh, present from the Redemptor. Uh, these guys have just charged forwards. The Rangers have advanced and picked up the uh, Death Jester's present. And the War Walkers kind of shuffled round. Yeah. That's about it, I think. Yeah. No I've just movement. Stood still. You've just stood still. <laughs> just, just knocking about. Yeah, I've got five models left. <laughs> All of which Actually, are. Well, I've, got, I've got four models left. <laughs> two are characters. Three two. are characters. No, sorry, two characters, two, characters, two, 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 two vehicles. vehicles yeah. Impressive. However, that is the end of the movement, so it's now the psychic phase. What would you like to cast? You're going to mirror of mind. Right? Yeah, so from this one's going to cast mirror of minds on the dread. Okay. So it's the one with the dice off thing again. Yep. So it's watch so, charge eight. Yep. So I'm casting eight. Time. Better do. Better Does it go off? So I use last command point. Mm. Yeah, might as well. Because it needs, yeah, needs to happen. Needs needs happen. Needs to happen now. Last command point. Nope. It <laughs> does not go off. Um, there's no point in me using command points ever. <laughs> They don't work. Salty Danny's salty. <laughs> Farseer yep. is going to uh, cast Smite, which will have to be on the Dreadnought because you can't see the tech ring. Yep. So that's cast on a 7. Okay. So D3 on the Dreadnought. D3 on the Dreadnought, go for it. So 2. 2 wounds, so he's down to 2. And he's going to cast Guide on the Guardians. Yep. Okay. He goes off on a 9. Goes off on nine, so that's goes off. So they're re rolling to hit, very nice. Okay. Any more psychic powers? Yeah, he's gonna cast Fog of Dreams on this lad, give him minus one to hit. Very um, cheeky. Goes off and watch our seven. Yep, can't do anything about that. Yep, and then I might as well cast a smite in there, aren't I? Yeah, smite. So I will smite the apothecary. Okay, so it's six is six this now because okay. it's minus one. Yep, yep, cast just on a six. So it does D3 D3 more out. wounds. Which what? kills him. He's only, got, he's, only, he's only got one wound, hasn't he? So he's yeah, dead. I think so. He's definitely been hit with something. Yeah. So is that end of the psychic phase? Does that drop his present? Uh, oh, it'll be just be. Well, it'll be either be contested or not. Yeah, so if I drop it. If I drop it there, it's whoever wins. Makes it more fair, it's whoever wins. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yes! The best kind! <laughs> so that is the end of the shooting phase. Uh, it's the end of the psychic phase. The shooting phase is coming up, guys. Shooting phase. These guys absolutely unloaded there and uh, dropped their three presents. Um, otherwise, a couple of things shot off. Uh, the Warwalker did one wound to the Dreadnought. Otherwise, nothing happened. Oh, that was smite. That was smite. Sorry. Nothing happened. That was it. Very uneventful, so we didn't bother filming any of it. So it is now the combat phase, and the Farsi is going to charge the Tech Marine. Would you like to go for it? He's going to burst around the corner. You're going to try. With an 8, I think you're alright. So now the Warwalker is going to charge into this unit. The last cannon can't see, so just one bolter. Hits. Doesn't wound. Charge range. 3. Ooh, you might fail. You might fail. So the Warwalker has just got into within an inch, just about. We don't mind. So the Warwalker is going to strike first into the tactical squad with his two attacks. Two hits. Okay. Three to strength five. Yep. Two wounds. Two wounds. Probably no minus. No minus. One wound. So we'll take the bolter. Goodbye, bolter. <laughs> now the farseer is going to strike into uh, the tech marine, I presume. Two attacks. Two attacks, hitting on twos. Wonderful. Two's, two's to win. Always twos. It's one wound, no say, uh, no modifier. So two up. He's fine, he's fine. 
So now it's your first non-charging unit. Avatar. Of course. <laughs> Avatar into the Dreadnought. Of course. Go for it. Wow. Well, one hit. You know what? One hit. One hit. <laughs> it's a one to wound. I can see it. It's, I can see no. it. It's a one. No, it's a one Come to on. wound. Come on, fight. It's, it's a three. <laughs> I know it's a 2d6. 2d6, pick the highest. Don't roll, don't roll double one. He's dead. Just. <laughs> Does it blow up? Just is all you need. Wish for it, guys. Doesn't. Does kill a ranger, though. <laughs> So the avatar is consolidated there within uh, on top of the objective, so Grand Brindle's just kind of watching now. Um, it's my turn, it was our turn to strike. I'm going to strike with the Tech Marine. I'm going to put my Servo Arm attack into the Shadow Seer and my two Power Act attacks into the Far Seer. So Servo Arm first. I'm minus one to hit now as well. So this is minus two, so it's five to hit. So it's missed. Two Force Acts. Uh, power Act, sorry. So this is fours now. But I get to reroll ones and two. One, one, one or two, because I've got Salamander. So I'll reroll one of those, and it hits. Strength five, so three's the wound. Reroll because I'm a salamander. <sighs> it's one, one, <laughs> one. Do you do this to me? Wow. Um, so that was terrible. So now it's your guy's I'm next unit. Have you done anything? Have you hit the lieutenant actually? Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna hit the lieutenant there. Yeah. Three attacks. Oh, these guys aren't doing well. <laughs> this, this, this turn is terrible. Yeah, one wound. Minus. One. The four up. Takes a wound. D3. Takes two. Takes two. So he's got two wounds left. Yep. So that did nothing. So now these two scouts are going to attack the um, Star Weaver. Two hits. Yep. <coughs> nothing. Brilliant. Do you want to attack back? I'll eat you back, yeah. Go for that? it. So three attacks, three's to hit. And three's to wound. Two wounds, mate. Right? Two no, wounds. No AP. Two saves. One dead. Yeah. Slowly chipping them away. Yeah, um, right there. So now this one's going to strike. Yep. One attack, hitting on threes, and we roll in. Hit wounded on fives, we roll in. One wound. Oh, no. One save. Four up armor. Good. He's passed. Do you want to attack him back? <laughs> Go for it. Run him more. Mm. Two. 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 Double health Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, and get present. So that present yeah, yeah, gets dropped. Got two. Well, actually, what's the new? Now the Lieutenant's going to attack the uh, Shadow Weaver, uh, Shadow Seer, sorry, so four attacks hitting on twos. Wounded on threes, re-rolling ones. Wounded on, four. Wounded on fours, so two wounds, yeah. two saves. Yeah. Four open ones. Take two, one Take wound. One. Okay. okay. Not bad. So now your other one is going to strike my Tech Marine. He is, yeah. He's going to try. He's, he's going to failed try. every turn yeah, since. Yeah, he's to a garbage. So he hit so. on twos, so he's going to roll three ones. No, I only hit this time. Wow, yeah. three's the wound, he's done fine. Yay! Three, uh, three up saves because he does have a two up and he's minus one, yeah. and he fails one. Three now, damage. I've got no wound, no one left. The three, it's three wounds, wound, so it does kill him now. Punch okay, so the Razorback's going to strike the Shadow Seer now with his three attacks hitting on sixes and missed. So I believe that's the end of the turn. Oh no, we got this squad. Obviously, yeah, yeah. we've got two dudes in there that can shoot, uh, hit the wall walker, hitting on threes, wounded on fives. Nothing. Terrible. So that is the end. We're just going to double check who can drop presents up. Okay, so at the end of the turn, the Avatar will drop three presents. The Farseer had two, which drop, gets dropped as well, and the uh, Shadow Seer has one. So they actually score six points now. So the objective is going to charge six inches straight towards there, so it's going to land around here. But that is the end of their turn. It's now 11-5, so it's not looking good for the Imperium. We had a very good first turn, but now we're running out of units, basically. Um, we're not going to do top-down for movement because there's only four units left, so we'll see what happens at the end of the movement. Okay, so end of the movement phase. Um, the Razorback disengaged and drove over Grombrindle. Grombrindle kind of just went, well, I'm a dwarf, so you can drive straight over me. Mm -hmm. And he's landed there. And the Terminators have gone up there. So actually, him going towards their deployment zone has actually worked out quite good for us. Because at the minute, we're going to be able to give him three presents, which is going to like put us closer, not in a lead, but we're going to be closer anyway. Um, the Stormhawk is, is hovering above this. We take him off his base so he doesn't fall over. Um, this squad and this squad have disengaged from those two, so we can shoot those as well. Um, and I think that's about it. Obviously, the Terminators have come closer. That's about it. So it's our shooting phase. Um, have we got a plan? Yeah. Shall we, we could go straight into this because we know what we're doing now. Shoot! Well, so the missile launcher is going to target the wall walker. Yep, and then last cannon's there. So cool. We'll start with the twin. Twin last cannon. Twin last cannon hitting on fours because it's minus one. One hit. One. 
Uh, two, three is to wound because it's toughness five. Yeah. Come on. There's one wound, it's minus three. So, four people. And he does pass it. Missile launcher. Hitting on th uh, threes now. And it missed. Never mind. So let's get, do the rest of the shooting. Basically, these assault cannons are going to go into there, and the last cannons into this little thing under here. Um, Those assault cannons. The foe smiter, is he going to go into the shadows here? Yes. Go for it. So, so it'll be four shots because it's a storm bolter. It's rapid fire two. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on fours because it will be threes, but you minus one because it's the shadows here itself. So one wound. One wound. So, so you if you fail your save for four up, okay. it does two damage and kills him. He's the sniper. Beautiful. Okay. And now these terminators are going to shoot into the farseer. So the into uh, storm bolters into the farseer then. So lots and lots of dice. I don't know how many that is. So you get four each. Yeah. Twenty shots. Decent. Go for it. So threes to hit. Okay. So that's all the hits. Yeah. Uh, threes to wound because it's only toughest three. Hits. Goodbye, Farseer. Jing. That's quite a few. So nine wounds all together on the Farseer. So nine four-up saves. I've got this. Yeah. As we all know. Go for it. And he's dead. So the Assault Cannons did five wounds to the guard. Well, killed five Guardians. And then the last Talon and the Skyhammer did nothing to this because he's got minus one to hit, so it's very difficult. Um, especially when I'm moving as well. Yeah. Uh, but that is the end of the shooting phase, I believe. We're all done. So that's the charge phase. Are you going to make any charges? I don't have any to make, I'll be honest, I've got two models left. So that's everything shot. Um, the charge phase, we've got the Deathwing, uh, going to charge the Avatar. He's going to be brave for the first company, first legion, whatever, something like that. First company, first chapter. Go for it. So Wailing Doom. Misses. <laughs> the charge range is six inches, and they're going to do some sweet conga lining. Oh, which is a ten, you're laughing. So these guys have charged into there, a bit of conga lining, so the sergeant isn't going to be able to attack, but he's within three inches of um, Grombrindol and within six inches of the chaplain, and in coherency, so they get to re-roll misses, and they'll be able to drop off well, the presence if it's fine. Yeah. Um, and they'll be able to um, drop off their present as well. So, all the power fists, there's eight power fists, hitting on, <laughs> hitting on fours, re-rolling ones and twos. Want to move in, because he's yep. in the way? We did, we knock him off, so he's still on top of the building. So three missed. The strength eight. So wounded on threes. Okay. So four wounds. So it's four in ones. And it's three damage a pop. D3. D3 damage, okay, okay. So five ups. Oh, oh my word. He made three of them. This is ridiculous. Wait, what the hell's going on? That's the fire of the avatar. How many five-ups have you made today? <laughs> Two, <laughs> many. <laughs> Go for it. It was a D3 damage. It's three. It's three. So yeah, he's on one wound. One wound, everybody. Now the avatar will probably strike back. I think Dan might have something to say about that. Actually. Well, actually, we've, we we get to strike first, actually, because it's our turn. Um, so, would you like to do the lieutenant? Or would you like to do another unit? The lieutenant. <laughs> They've disengaged. Yeah. So lieutenant with four attacks, hitting on uh, twos. All hit. Wounding on three. Uh, wounding on fours. We're rolling ones again because of the minus. We're rolling one. Two wounds. Four pin ones. Two wounds. Decent. Down to two. So what's your next unit, guys? Yeah, it matters. I don't think it matters yeah, at this so point. So, do you want to do them? Hit on twos. Three hits. About time. Threes. <laughs> one wound, so one four up save, Elliot. It's failed, it's D3 damage. For three. It does kill him, so he does drop two presents. You get that prize as well. Yeah. You have four left. Okay, and now the avatar. Couldn't possibly roll four ones again. All hit. All hit. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. So that's three wounds. Three wounds, five. three five up in ones. You can do it. it. Makes one, so two D3 damage. First one, D6. D6, apologies. First one, kills one. Yeah, second, second one. one. Kills one. Yeah, so, so two you're dead. Sergeant off, yeah? Yeah, every <laughs> time, of course. <laughs> Playing the dude. Yeah. Okay, so that is combat done. 
So we're going to be able to drop off three presents, one from here, one from the Razorback, and one from the Chaplain. Yeah. Which means we go up three, so we're on eight now. So he's actually going to move three inches straight towards the Chaplain, because he's going to charge towards your deployment zone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is the end of the Imperium turn four. It is now Eldar turn four, coming up. So end of the movement phase, the uh, Shadow Seers uh, charged out with four presents now. Uh, these guys have jumped towards, looking like going to try and get rid of the Dreadnought. The Warwalker's shuffled forwards with his one wound left. And that's about it. So it's the Eldar shooting phase. Psychic phase. Psychic phase. Psychic phase? Oh, of course. What we're are you going to do with the Psychic it. phase? So we're going to cast Smite, and then we're going to go with Mirror of Minds on the Terminators. Go for it. Get them out of so, so Smite. Smite. Goes Six. off. D3 Mortal Wounds. Mortal Wounds. Big three. Big three. So one, one gets one. and these on one wound. Yeah. Uh, mirror of Minds. Yeah. What charge? Eight. Does nope. not go off. So that's the end of the psychic phase. Shooting phase coming up. So end of the shooting phase. The Rangers shot the chaplain, did nothing. He shot into them, did nothing. They shot into there, did one wound. And that is about it. It's, the, it's one of those games at the minute. The Guardians haven't shot, no. What do the Guardians oh, like to shoot? The shoot Who's up here? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere. Okay. So that's ten shots. Ten shots into the flight. Force to hit. Force to hit. Fire. So four hits. Five to win. Five to six really. Yeah, ideally sixes. Make us two normal saves. Two normal saves. So three ups, three rolling ones. Oh, passed. Beautiful. But yeah, nothing happened. So charge phase. Yeah, Shadow Seer's going to win the turn is. Yeah. Jesus. Beautiful. Wall Walker into there. Yep. Okay. Why not? So we got the bolt gun first. <laughs> nothing. Last cannon. Nope. <laughs> You're in. These two are going to charge into a here. Yeah, Which so one's going to go first? One on your right. Isn't that one? Yeah. Okay, so twin last cannons. Booyah! Threes. Booyah! No. Yeah. <laughs> Missile launcher. Oh. <laughs> charge range, I think you're in. Yeah, other one. Pow. Pow. Time, time. <laughs> cool. So, combat, do you want to do this? that one first? Uh, yep, yeah. so. Um, Three attacks. Hitting on two. Token one. Token one. Two wounds, so two three up saves. Yep. Both passed. Beautiful. War Walker? Uh, yeah. It's three attacks. All hit. All hit. Three three ups. One dead. One dead. So that one out there. Do both the Star Weavers together. Both Star Weavers, yep. Three to hit. And two for seven. Toughness so, 7, yeah. One, one wound. No. One 3 up save. So they have a Tower of Cain now. The first non charging unit will strike. Yeah. So, so we'll hit the Termis. Twos and twos. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so four, four, five up saves. Yeah. And we failed them all. So D6 well, at first one. I was going to say, I could technically roll ones here, but first could, one. Yeah. Dead. Kills one. Second one. Ooh, only one does wound. one wound, third one, dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Close, but not quite the cookie. So that's the, uh, that's the Terminator's gone. Uh, that was a spare wound. So are you going to pile into there? Yep, stop that shooting. Would you like to consolidate this one? Uh, Do you like to consolidate it? He didn't, no. So that is him done. I think that's all of combat? Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. Yep. Are you gonna, you're not going to drop any presents? I can't drop any presents now because I'm not, not close up on these two units there. So, the yeah. so that is the end of the turn. Um, Imperium turn five coming up. So the Grombrindle did actually move three inches towards their deployment, but I decided to put a razor back in the way in the man movement phase. The flyer has flown to there, the chaplain is stood between both characters, the dreadnought's disengaged, uh, the last cannon's just disengaged, and that's about it. So, shooting phase, let's, um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do, we're going to do something and we're going to find out in a second. So end of the shooting phase, the uh, Stormhawk ended up killing all of the scouts, uh, the chaplain tried shooting the avatar and did nothing, that did nothing, the sniper tried killing the avatar and that did nothing, so yeah, very eventful. Yeah, it's very been eventful. like the rest of the game. Basically. Yeah. Cool. Would you like to charge a chaplain into something? Yeah, I would. What are you going to charge into? I don't know, so I want you to pause it. You want me to pause it so we can talk about tactics? Yes. Terrible. So after that extreme tactics talk, we've yes. been talking for like four hours. Okay. I mean, it's crazy. He's going to charge the avatar. So would the avatar like to wailing doom? Yeah, let's wailing doom something. No, nah, you won't. Would you like to charge your two inches? Ooh. Wonderful. Oh god, he did. Just would you like to attack with your four attacks? I would indeed. So it's two to hit. Me rolling. Because you create. Four hits. Nice. Strength. 
five. Strength five, so wounded on fives. That's a lot of, that's it's wound two wounds. Two wounds? Two in one. Oh, it's minus one, so it's two five. Good. And he does pass. Yes. Terrible. That's so the avatar six. will strike back. Go for it. So uh, avatar strikes back. Four hits. Wounded on twos. Three. Three wounds. Three. So four plus in one on the chaplain. And he, two go through. So okay. two D6, so D6 plus. So five wounds, so he's dead. So that's Warlord. Two down and kneel again. So that is the end of the turn. Obviously the, the uh, chaplain is dead. Not a lot happened. It was pretty terrible. So the Grombrindel is going to move three inches again because we couldn't give him any more presents. And yeah, um, Eldar turn five now. So, Eldar turn 5 movement phase, the Flyers have jumped jumping up, it's like getting towards end game now, so they need to start dropping presents. The Shadow Seer is definitely dropping presents, she's got 4, she's laughing. The Avatar's probably going for a charge against the Razorback. The Warwalker's pulled out looking to shoot these two units probably, and these guys have advanced over. They have 4 presents currently, but they are a long way away. They could do it, if it does go to turn 7, they could probably do it. Mm -hmm. And then these guys are laughing on points, because it's 11-8 currently, plus secondaries. But we'll see, it's now the Psychic phase. Would you like yep. to cast anything? Maybe start off with smite. Smite. And smite it up. Smite. Uh, we roll because it's cocked. It does go off. The D3 mortal wounds. So that's two mortal wounds. Now mirror of mines. And we'll charge eight. Yep, goes off on eight. Wow, it's about time. It's only been like five turns you've been trying to do it. So we've got to roll. I get a five. So you've got to get a six. Oh well, nothing. that not, did nothing. <laughs> Brilliant. Harley Quinn's amazing. Okay. Harley Quinn. That's so that's the end of the psychic shooting phase coming up. So that's the end of the shooting phase. This guy pumped into the Dreadnought and caused another wound. Uh, these guys pumped into the Razorback did a wound. Wailing Doom did six and then the Hallucinogenic Grenade Launcher mm -hmm. just uh, did the leadership thing where it basically rolls equal to our higher than your leadership, does D3 mortal wounds and did two. So, and it didn't blow up either so that's actually removed. No. Otherwise, uh, the Warwalker shot the scout and killed that so there's a present up there. But I believe that is the end of the shooting phase. Yep. Any charges? Yeah, that's going to go in there just in case it continues to stop it. Okay, so two last cannon shots. Missile launcher? Nope. Let's keep slowing it down, that's yeah. the problem. Any more charges? Yeah, I'm not going to wall walk into, into the last, last cannon. Man. Last cannon! Nope, go for it. That wall walker has been such a pain with one wound. I don't <laughs> think. It's going to be out of range there, dude, never mind. Do you want any more charges? No, I ain't, that's it. Okay, so. End of your turn, you get four things. That puts you on. That puts you on six there. So that's twelve plus another three, so you're on fifteen. So it moves four inches straight towards your deployment zone. <laughs> so guys, Grom Brindle is charged over there. The current score is nineteen uh, eleven. We have first strike and warlord. They have warlord, warlord, and first strike. So it's currently a massive win to those. However. Lord of Sanguinala. Oh. Would you like to roll to see if it carries on on a, on a three plus? On the Blood Angel dice. On the Blood Angel's dice. It's a two. It's a two. The game has ended. Obviously, we can't command point re-roll. We can't re-roll that anymore. We don't have any command points anyway. So that is the end of the game, guys, and a win to the Eldar. So that was the story of Sanguinala. As you can see, it was a tale of incompetence involving dice rolling, where neither side was very actually good at what they did. Um, but on a serious note, thank you very much for watching, um, and thanks for all the support you've given us in 2017, moving into 2018. It's been a pretty crazy journey, and I'm sure we're all really appreciative of everything people have said, all the comments on the videos, all the support we've got on Twitch and YouTube. So um, thank you very, very much, and all the best from us at Hellstorm. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.